guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a really fun and interesting video. Right now, half of my face, I use all drugstore products and the other side is high-end. I feel like they're pretty identical. I feel like these are amazing dupes. I honestly really can't tell the difference between the two sides. There are little teeny tiny differences, but overall, in general, I feel like both sides look pretty damn close. I think it's so much more fun to see the product in action because sometimes a product can swatch really nicely but look so different on the face. I'm really, really, really excited for this because I found a dupe for the Kylie Matte Liquid Lipstick in Dolce K. I used two products to mimic Dolce K and I cannot be any more happy with it because I just love how it came out. So if you are a beauty on a budget or you just want to know some drugstore dupes, some amazing drugstore dupes to some high-end makeup, then keep on watching. So let's get started. The left side of my face, your right, is going to be the drugstore and then this side of my face is going to be the high end. I'm going to start off with my brows because I always start off with my brows and in yesterday's video I used the L'Oreal Brow Stylist and I said it was a dupe for the Brow Wiz but I actually have another dupe that I'm going to be using in this video and this is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I'm going to go ahead and use the NYX one on this eyebrow and this is in the shade Brunette. So on this eyebrow, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Brow Wiz in dark brown. So as you can see, they are pretty comparable. I do have to say that the NYX brow has a little bit more red in it. Like when you look up close, it does have a tinge more of a warmer tone. But from far away, you really can't tell. And I feel like it has a lot to do with the fact that it's a brunette shade. And most brunettes have a little bit of reddish warmth to their hair color. So now I'm going to move on to priming my lids. So for the drugstore side, I'm going to be using this LA Girl Pro Primer. And this is the HD High Definition Primer in the shade Nude. <laughs> So for the high inside, I'm going to be using MAC Painterly Paint Pot. So I think this one is a great dupe because as long as you have something down, it's better than nothing. But I will say that the MAC one has a little bit more coverage. But I kind of prefer the shade on the LA Girl one. It's more on the neutral side where this MAC one is a little bit more on the cool side. For eyeshadow, I'm not going to be doing anything too crazy just for the sake of this video, but I'm going to be using the Sonia Kashuk Ion Neutral Matte 02 palette on the left side, and I'm mainly just going to be using this peachy color in my crease and a little bit of this deeper brown in my crease just to give me a little bit of definition. <laughs> As you can see, these shadows are laying really nicely on top of the primer, which is what a primer is supposed to do. It's supposed to prime and smooth out your eyelids, which I feel like the LA Girl one does a great job in. It definitely smoothed my lids out and just gave me a nice canvas to work on, and these eyeshadows go on beautifully on top of that primer. So this Sonia Kashuk palette, I think, is a dupe for this Vizzy Art Neutral Matte palette. As you can see, the shades are really similar. You get the same kind of gray color, the black, the dark brown matte, the flat white shade. I will say, though, this one has a lot more warmer tones, the Vizzy Art one. But as you can see, they are really similar. They're both creamy. They're both really nice, all matte palettes. So I'm going to go ahead and use this peachy color and also this flat brown that's a little bit more on the cool side to mimic this eye. So as you can see, both palettes are pretty similar. I feel like if you're just looking for good transition colors, then this one is definitely a better deal. I feel like if you really love matte shades, go with the Viseart because you do get better quality. But if you're the type of person that likes to experiment, you like to play around with makeup, or if you like to use glitter or foiled shadows and you just use mattes in the transition or crease area, then definitely go with the Sonia Kashuk. Moving on to our lid color, on the high-end side, I'm going to be using this Stila Kitten Eyeshadow. This is one of my favorite eyeshadows. I've actually repurchased this twice. I'm going to go ahead and lay this down all over the lid. And a great dupe that I found is the L'Oreal Paris 
Infallible Eyeshadow in Iced Latte. These are so bomb. They're one of my favorite eyeshadows from the drugstore. You should definitely give these a try if you haven't. Again, this one is in Iced Latte. The L'Oreal one actually is a little more pigmented. On the lids, I feel like it's pretty undetectable and I think this one is such a great dupe for Stila Kitten. So for liquid liner on the high end side, I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Ink Liner. This is their matte liquid liner. have three dupes. I have the NYC liquid liner. This stuff is $3 and it's so bomb. This one is the bomb shoeing liner. But I'm not going to use this one on this side just because I feel like the bomb isn't accessible to everyone. I'm actually going to go ahead and use the NYX matte liquid liner because I feel like it's the most accessible and it is actually a matte liquid liner. The bomb one is super matte too but like I said it's not as accessible and it is kind of pricey even though it is considered drugstore. I'm going to go ahead and do wing on this side. tip on either of these so I have to go with the NYX matte liquid liner I feel like it was a lot smoother for me I didn't get as many like bumpy lines when lining my lid I love NYX because they're cruelty free so the NYX one definitely wins for the liquid liners but I have to say the Balm Schwing and the NYC liquid liner are like my favorite favorite drugstore eyeliners <laughs> So this side is the L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible and then this side is the Estee Lauder Double Wear in Tawny and I use 105 on this side which is Natural Beige. These last the longest on me out of all of my foundations and I feel like I tend to use a L'Oreal Pro Matte one more. Now I will say these run a little bit more yellow although Estee Lauder Double Wear does have a ton of yellow and orange in their foundations. They do have pinky shades and neutral shades and all types of shades. The L'Oreal Pro Matte is actually kind of like sinking into the fine lines on my face which typically doesn't happen and I feel like it has a lot to do with the Real Techniques sponge. I definitely hands down prefer my Beauty Blender with the L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible but I really love my SLR Double Wear too. I feel like they're right on top next to each other but this one is just winning by a little bit. Just by a little bit because it's so accessible and it's so inexpensive and it lasts a really long time. They both last a really long time but for the price L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible. If you guys haven't tried it, try it. I feel like the Estee Lauder Double Wear looks more like skin, where the L'Oreal Pro Matte just looks super like flawless. It's really interesting to see them side by side because they both are my favorite. So now let's move on to concealer. For the high end side, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in Light Warm. And then the dupe that I'm going to be using on the drugstore side is this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in Light. I'm going to be using this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind because I feel like it's creamy, it has really good coverage and it never looks cakey underneath my eyes which is a great dupe for the naked because of this one also is creamy I love the shades on both of these they're more on the yellow light pale side so I'm gonna go ahead and apply these and I'll be right back side is brighter but it is creasing more so I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eye. To bake on the high end side I'm gonna be using the Laura Mercier translucent powder. And for the drugstore dupe I'm gonna be using the Coty Airspun in translucent. Another great dupe is the NYC Smooth Skin translucent powder but I'm gonna use the Coty because I love this stuff and a lot of people have been asking me if I get flashback. I personally don't get flashback with this but you have to make sure to wipe away your bake really really well so that you don't get flashback. If you can get past the smell, this is a great, great, great dupe for the Laura Mercier. On initial application, the Laura Mercier has more of a yellow tint to it where the Coty is more of just like a stark, like whitish kind of color. I love both equally. I just feel like they both work really great. It just depends on the mood that I'm in, but you don't want to leave these on too long. Right now, my under eyes are super dry, so I'm going to go ahead and remove the bake and I'm going to use my Real Techniques setting brush. 
So now that both under eyes are set, you can see there's a little bit of dryness, but there's no creasing. This is like the number one way to help stop creasing is to bake under the eyes. To apply a heavy amount of powder underneath the eyes, let it cook, and then remove it. Make sure that you're incorporating an under eye cream every single night because you will look like a desert underneath your eyes if you bake without using an eye cream. Just saying. Another great dupe from the drugstore for the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder is this Rimmel Stay Matte powder this is just like a pressed version of it but it'll keep you matte and it kind of has the same tint as the Laura Mercier but I, I'm gonna set the rest of my face with another type of translucent powder so on the high end side I'm gonna be using the makeup forever HD loose powder and then for the drugstore side, I'm going to be using a dupe, which is the Maybelline Master Fix Setting and Perfecting Loose Powder. These are more of a silky, kind of finely milled powder. So the Makeup Forever has 8.5 grams, and then the Maybelline is 6 grams. But as you can see, the Makeup Forever packaging is just a lot larger. But the powders are really, really similar. I wouldn't recommend necessarily baking with these because the texture is just not the type of powder that you want to bake with. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this all over the face other than the area that we baked, which is underneath the eye. I really, really like this one. It's a great, great, great translucent powder from the drugstore. Again, I wouldn't use it to bake with because it is so fine, the texture. But if you're looking for a powder to set your face, if you feel like you're getting oily throughout the day, definitely check this one out or the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. That one's really great, but if you're looking for something loose, try this one. I would definitely go with the Master Fix just because you're just going to use it to set your face. It's not really going to add any color, so for the price, Maybelline wins. So now we're going to move on to bronzing. For the high-end side, I'm going to be using the Bobbi Brown Golden Light. You guys know this is one of my favorite bronzers of all time. It's just a nice, neutral, matte brown shade. Super duper matte. It has no shimmer whatsoever, and I love using this for contouring, bronzing, all that jazz. And a great dupe for it is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. And the reason why this is such a good dupe is the shade is pretty spot on. I believe there's two of these butter bronzers, and this one's the lighter one. If you don't like scented products, you may not like like this one because it does smell like sunscreen like coconut so I'm gonna go ahead and apply the bronzers and I'll show you why this is such a great dupe they're both on the cooler side the texture is similar they're both really easy to blend and they're super matte when you're applying this you can definitely smell the scent so that's why I reach for this one a little bit more and the Bobbi Brown is a little more pigmented but this is such a great bronzer from the drugstore all of their face products are so good. They are a little bit pricey for drugstore, but I feel like they're always on sale on CVS, like buy one, get one half off, or buy one, get one free, or even 40% off. So definitely wait until there's a sale. If you can find this bronzer, definitely pick it up. I think it's a great dupe for the Bobbi Brown Golden Light Bronzer. And to warm up my face just a little bit more, I'm going to be using this Guerlain Terracotta Bronzer in the shade 07. I love Guerlain bronzers. They're such great bronzers. They have so many shades, and they just blend so nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this just to kind of warm everything up and give me a little bit more color. And a good dupe is this NYX Matte Bronzer in Deep Tan. And I think this is such a great dupe because it's also matte like the Guerlain one. Super rich in color, super rich in pigment. And I feel like this shade is deep enough to be a dupe. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this one to the drugstore side. in particular I do prefer the Guerlain one it's just warmer and I feel like the next one can tend to look a little muddy if you're not using the right brush if you can get a hang of the pigmentation of it and just kind of blending it into the skin really really well the next one is a great dupe for it so moving on to blush I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Love Flush in Baby Love for the high end side I really love the packaging on this one so I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to the apples with my cheeks and a great dupe is the Milani Powder Blush in Romantic Rose. This one also has killer packaging. I really like the Milani one just because it's matte and it just blends really nicely. And you guys know I'm a sucker for drugstore blush. My favorite drugstore blush is Milani Luminoso. But this one is up there. I really, really like this blush and I feel like not a lot of people talk about it. It's definitely underrated. And this Too Faced one is nice. 
but for the price I definitely would go with the Milani I tend to pick this one up more than this one but the packaging on both is just to die for but color wise this is such a great dupe so for that Milani wins this round now I'm gonna apply eyeliner to my waterline for the high-end side I'm gonna be using this NARS larger than life long wear eyeliner in Via Veneto and then the dupe is the Milani liquid eye liquid like eyeliner pencil in black both are super duper creamy obviously the Milani one is a lot lot cheaper cheaper and I feel like they both wear really nicely and they're super long wearing so as you can see both are super duper black and pigmented the Milani one just tends to run a little bit more underneath the lower lash line but if you're someone who likes to smoke out your lower lash line or likes to apply shadow underneath which I feel like when you're doing black liner you definitely should apply a little bit of something right underneath or at least some mascara it'll kind of hide that but it is super creamy and I feel like that's almost its downfall is that if you're not careful, like I said, you will end up with a lower lash smoked out. Where the NARS one is creamy but it's not like overly creamy, wherever you apply it is where it lands. I feel like if you're the type of person that kind of gets watery eyes when applying liner, go with the NARS just because if your eye does get watery and you're applying the liner, it won't like smudge underneath where this one is so creamy that it will smudge just a little bit. They both are super long wearing, I just feel like it depends on your style if you like a super smoked out lower lash line go with the Milani because this stuff is no joke super pigmented super duper creamy so I like both but for different reasons and yeah for lower lash mascara for my high-end side I'm gonna use the MAC extended play giga black lash mascara I love this this is like my holy grail lower lash mascara but I'm gonna show you a dupe <laughs> For the dupe side, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black. This is also another holy grail lower lash mascara for me. I typically just go between these two. I feel like they give me the same effect. I feel like both mascaras really extend my lower lashes and really lengthen. So I feel like this is such a great dupe for the MAC Extended Play Giga Black. Now let's move on to highlighting my favorite part. So for the drugstore highlight, I'm going to be using this NYX Strobe Genius Palette. I'm going to be using this middle color and this one, and I'll show you why in a minute. <laughs> mix both colors together is because I feel like it makes a great dupe for Becca Opal and Champagne Pop mixed together. <laughs> love Pinktastic by e.l.f. It's a blush. I use it as a highlight and I really like the Wet n Wild highlights but I feel like not a lot of people can get their hands on them so I wanted to use something that's a little more accessible. So I feel like color wise it's a really great dupe. Now I'm going to do something that I always do when I get ready and it's to define my brows a little bit more. I'm going to be using the Anastasia Dip Brow in Medium Brown and the dupe is the NYX Tame and Frame in Brunette. So they're both pomades and I'm going to go ahead and just kind of define my brows a little bit more, give them a little bit more color and a little bit more definition. So as you can see, the NYX Tame and Frame is a definite dupe for the Anastasia. They both go on really nicely. They both have like a waxy feel. So I don't know if you guys can see a difference. I definitely think this is a great, great, great drugstore dupe for the Dip Brow Pomade. To set my brows, I'm going to use the Benefit Gimme Brow in the shade 3 on the high end side. And a great dupe is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper. And this is in the shade Medium to Dark. This is such a great, great, great eyebrow product from the drugstore. It's one of my favorite drugstore eyebrow products. It's awesome. If you haven't tried it, definitely try it. They're both going to give me the illusion of a fuller brow. I feel like this is such a great, great, great dupe. <laughs> In this round, I prefer the drugstore product. I just feel like the L'Oreal one actually makes my brow look fuller, like bushier, if that makes any sense, where the Gimme Brow is nice, but it's a little more subtle. I feel like I get more results with the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper. If you like a little bit more of a natural plump, then you'll like this Benefit Gimme Brow, but for me, I really love this L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper. I just feel like it makes my brow look defined and more colored. I just feel like this gives my brow that extra oomph that I'm always looking for. So this is such a great underrated brow product from the drugstore. Moving on to lips, I'm going to be using the Kylie Matte Liquid Lipstick in Dolce K for my high end side. And I'm going to be using a dupe, which is the NYX Lip Pencil in Natural on the drugstore side. Can we just get a moment of silence for dupes for Kylie Lip Kits? All the way up. If you couldn't get your hands 
hands on the lip kits or you just feel like it's way too overpriced. This pencil is super duper cheap and it is a little bit lighter but I feel like if you build it up a little more or if you just add a little bit of a darker lip liner on the edges it'll look pretty exact. If you haven't tried a lip liner as an all over lip color definitely try it. It lasts so long, it's matte, and it just looks so good. I think this is such a great dupe for the Kylie Lip Kit, again, in Dolce K. And this one is in the color Natural. To darken this side up a little bit, I'm going to use Revlon Lip Cream in Mink. I kind of just took a chance with that one and I'm so happy I did because I feel like it's identical now. Even though I already applied blush, I feel like adding a little bit more blush on top will just kind of mend everything together. So I have another dupe for you guys. On the high-end side, I'm going to be using NARS Orgasm super duper cult favorite. One of my all-time favorite blushes. I used to use this a whole lot before. So I'm going to go ahead and apply Orgasm right in between that highlight and that bronzer just to kind of give my cheeks a little bit more color. And a great dupe is this Maybelline Master Contour in Medium to Deep. This blush shade is so similar to Orgasm. They both are that classic pink with a little bit of shimmer. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this one to my drugstore side. <music> to brighten my under eye, I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Shade Light Contour Palette. Just the yellow shade in the middle. And a definite dupe is this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contour Kit in Caramel Toffee. I feel like I love these both equally. The banana shade in both are just so, 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 so soft. And they don't look cakey. And they just add a little bit of brightness underneath my eye. So I'm going to go ahead and apply each of these. And this is a definite, definite, definite dupe for the Kat Von D Contour Kit. Now let's move on to setting sprays. I actually have three different dupes to show you. The first one is the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist for the high end. And a great dupe is this Pixie by Petra Glow Mist. This Glow Mist is a definite dupe because it's not just going to hydrate the skin. It's actually going to give you a glow. They're both Glow Mists. If you have dry skin or you love to glow, you are going to love these. The Glow Mist is a little bit more hydrating. It has argan oil, so this is actually going to nourish, hydrate, and protect your skin, where I feel like I use a Tatcha one just primarily for that glow. I just like the glow that the Tatcha one gives me, but I love that the Pixie one makes me feel really hydrated. So I love both of these, and for the price, this is such a great, 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 great dupe. Moving on to my second mist spray, the Pixie by Petra Makeup Fixing Mist. You guys know I'm obsessed with this. So this is my dupe for the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. I use this one primarily just to eliminate any like powdery feeling that I have, kind of like the Glow Mist, but this one is not going to give you a glow. It's just going to hydrate the skin, extreme hydration in this bottle. And then this one, the Mist and Fix, is going to kind of do the same, but it's actually going to set it. So if you're looking for something that's going to do both setting and fixing, the Makeup Forever definitely will win. But if you're looking for something that's really going to eliminate that cakey look, I definitely would go with the Pixie one because this is like my holy grail cakey fixing spray. Love this stuff. <music> The Makeup Forever definitely is an extreme mist. It drenches your face, but it does set, obviously, but I feel like the Pixie one just has, like, a better mist when it comes to these two sprays. I'm just showing you three sprays for the sake of this video. Obviously, I don't feel like you need to run out and buy three setting sprays, although I do use a lot of setting spray. I like to mix my setting sprays. Different setting sprays do different things. So the last one that I want to show you is the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. This one is super popular. It's a long-lasting, oil-free, paraben-free setting spray. And this one's actually by Scandinavia. And then the dupes that I have are the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set and the L'Oreal Infallible Makeup Extender Setting Spray. The Urban Decay will make your makeup last a little longer, but for the price, these are great, 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 great dupes. <laughs> So this is the completed look. Can you guys tell which side costs so much more than the other side? I feel like they're pretty identical. So this is the high-end side, and then this is the drugstore side. This demonstration just goes to show you that there are some amazing hidden gems at the drugstore. Just because something is cheaper doesn't mean that it's less quality or any less better than a high-end product. 
I feel like you can barely tell the difference. They look identical. This lip color, I feel like, is an exact dupe on my lips. So, I'm super excited to be showing you guys dupes. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you'd like to see more videos like this. I have some other dupes that I definitely want to mention. So, if you guys like this dupe idea, thumbs up this video so I know or leave me a comment. Let me know what side you like best. It can be an individual product or just in general what side of my face look best or do you feel like it's pretty identical because right now I feel like it's pretty identical. I just want to let you guys know that I have a new obsession with finding dupes. Like once you start looking in your collection and finding things that are so similar for a fraction of the price, like a quarter of the price, you just become obsessed. You're like, what else is sitting in my collection that is basically the same exact thing as something else that costs so much more? I want to go through my whole collection, reorganize everything, and find more dupes. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful and interesting, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.